at this point, actually, it's not a bad idea to go through some terminologies. Uh, hypocenter is the point underneath of the Earth surface where the where the rupture starts take place. That's a hypocenter. Directly above that, on the surface of the of the Earth, that's called the epicenter. Usually, even the hypocenter is deep. Uh, very deep. Usually, the damage is not as uh, as uh, as even the when the uh, hypocenter is a little bit closer to the to the surface. Now, that's a relative term too. During the earthquakes, really, there are uh, I would say two different types of wave that are generated. One are called the body wave, and one are, what are called the surface wave. Body waves are like P wave and a secondary wave that usually toward the, they are less damaging. In fact, a P wave is, is very helpful actually to, for predict, to at least give it maybe 10 second, five second warning that the earthquake is coming. And, uh, 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 for example, you, you have heard that, uh, animals start acting really strange. The birds start uh, uh, flying. Snakes comes out of their, uh, their their hole, and the horses starts acting really funny. The reason for that is because they sense that uh, the the first wave, the P wave, that comes in, and that as a human we do we are not that sensitive to it, but the but the animals are. So the, the first wave are very small. So, for example, after earthquake, you you, you guys, uh, everybody have seen these uh, diagrams that shows these uh, wiggly uh, lines, basically the vibration, and it's very small, 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 all of a sudden gone. Those are small ones. Those are basically P wave and S wave that comes in. And, and right now, actually, we will elaborate on that. The, the direction of the research is to uh, co- uh, try to use that in order to give the warning. Japanese have probably one of the best warning system. Um, and they claim that they are able to, using a P wave, uh, uh, shut down the high speed rail, shut down the gas line, electricity line. Because remember, the, the, the fire and so on is a, is a, is a big, a big concern during the earthquakes. Um, and then this body wave, which more goes toward the, the, uh, Earth. Uh, uh, after that, then we have the surface wave, and uh, there are two major one. One that's called the Rally wave, that is really mainly responsible for the damages, and that's uh, that's where the uh, uh, basically most of the damages is uh, is inflicted to the buildings. So uh, the first wave, this body wave, like P wave, is really actually helpful, depending on where you are at, you can get upward of five, 10, 20 second warning that the earthquake is coming. And, and that's enough to uh, be prepared. And many countries, uh, uh, some countries, not many, some countries have this warning system that is based on that, basically the PVA. And the Japanese actually have the probably the most uh, sophisticated warning system uh, right now, at least in my opinion. Uh, uh, but uh, how the earthquake causes damage really is a very uh, complex. You cannot, it depends on the, uh, all these waves, yes, but also depends on the soil condition that we discussed, depends on the duration, depends on the, the type of the wave that happens, and so on. So uh, it's not just one number that you can look at and then say, okay, I know that, for example, how much energy is released or how much damage is going to, is going to come. Depends on many, many other, other, other factors. Uh, 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 but in summary, the, those primary wave is a, uh, most of the uh, research studies right now tries to take advantage of that and give a warning uh, so that people can uh, uh, do at least what they can, uh, especially, for example, cutting the, uh, shutting down the gas line or the high-speed rail and so on.